the government considered measures to promote Kazakhstan in the Global Competitiveness Index rating. The Cabinet of Ministers would have to prepare a corresponding plan within one month. Moreover, the relevant authorities and governors of the regions are also facing the task to create maximum conditions for doing business and attracting investments. Meanwhile, the current best conditions for entrepreneurs are created in Almaty, Aktau and Aktube. The steady growth of GDP is necessary in order for Kazakhstan to enter the top 30 of the most developed countries in the world by 2050. Sustainable economic growth rate is accompanied by an investment flows. Capital inflow is affected by seven factors such as the ease of doing business, competitiveness, trade and transport infrastructure development, efficiency of customs clearance process, level of secondary and higher education of the population and independent credit ratings. Investors pay special attention to these factors. The Global Innovation Summit is being held in Central Asia for the first time. The main topic of the 10th anniversary forum is the competitiveness of nations and long-term sustainable growth. In Kazakhstan's capital, world-leading experts held discussions on the opportunities for economic, technology and social development. The participants also highlighted the significant shifts that occurred over the years of Kazakhstan's independence. During this period, in particular, the GDP grew from 11 billion US dollars to 170, almost 70 percent of the volume of foreign investments in Central Asia was distributed in Kazakhstan. According to the First Presidency's Foundation, a total of 300 billion US dollars of were invested in the state. Almost 60 percent of the GDP of Central Asian region accounted for Kazakhstan. The state ranks 28th in terms of ease of doing business and 59th in the Global Competitiveness Index. Kazakhstan has launched the Advanced Human Capital Development Programs. In the 90s, the first president launched several programs such as Boloshak, Nazarbayev University. The Eurasian Economic Commission in the Eurasian Economic Union eliminated 17 trade barriers this year. Priority goals of the EAEU are to identify obstacles as well as to respect the interests of all participating countries in the Integration Association. Special attention is drawn to the prevention of violations of the general rules of competition in the cross-border markets of the Union. In the first nine months of this year, Kazakhstan's exports to the EAEU member countries increased by 16 percent, while import grew by 9%. More than 41 applications were received during this time. Analysis are being carried out based on these requests. First of all, the party that has violated the rules of competition has the opportunity to rectify the situation. Kazakhstan could maintain a 5% GDP growth by 2025, said British experts. The London-based experts shared their opinions on the priority areas introduced in the State of the Nation Address, announced by President of Kazakhstan, Qasim Jomart Tokayev. Representatives of the UK's public organizations shared their experience on areas such as creating the National Public Council and reforming the intergovernmental budget system. Meanwhile, representative for the Westminster Foundation for Democracy, Magdalena randall Schkep gave an example from the British practice. UK is, is a fantastic country that gives citizens an opportunity to discuss uh, and participate in a policy-making decision, have a word how the legislation is being drafted. It's also citizens have got the right and opportunity and they take the opportunity to actually oversight and be part of oversight processes. A direct flight between Nur Sultan and Shanghai will be introduced in the near future. The bilateral agreement was reached between the country's national airline and China's largest carrier. Shanghai is one of the cities that are listed as the prioritized cities for cooperation with the Astana International Financial Center. The ambassador of China to Kazakhstan said that the launch of the flight will strengthen the business partnership between the two countries but also become the impetus for cooperation in tourism development. Creating the maximum convenient conditions for exchanges of visits between the two countries are especially important for us. We expect that the new direct flight will be launched in the following month. <laughs> Thank you.
The French are not happy with the upcoming pension reform. Lawyers and doctors in the private practice took to the streets of Paris to protest against the changes. For the first time in French history, private sector employees have gathered together to protest the planned pension reform. The new system, initiated by President Macron, aimed for a unified pension scheme in the country. Currently, private sector employees pay 14% of pension contribution. However, authorities have proposed to double the amount of contribution. World's first floating nuclear power plant, Academic Lomonosov, has arrived to its permanent base across the Bering Strait near the Russian city of Pivek. The new power plant will replace the outdated nuclear reactor and power plant in the city. The floating station left Murmansk on August 23rd. The mobile station was brought on a ship for 5,000 kilometers. According to experts, the power unit can provide heat and electricity to the city, with population of 100,000 people and more. The facility will be put into operation by the end of this year. A device which can be used to search for victims of natural disasters was invented in Indonesia. The innovation, developed by a group of students, emits high-frequency signals to help rescuers to find victims trapped under rubble. The rescuers have to install the app on their phones and view the distance to the victim on the screens. The technology of the invention is patented. However, the creators want to improve the system before launching it into mass production. Universities in Tajikistan are becoming popular among foreign students. Young people from 20 countries arrive in the country every year. Muhammad Rahil is from India. He is currently studying cardiology in Tajikistan. He dreams of opening his own medical clinic in his hometown. I thought of where to continue to study when I graduated from high school. It is expensive to study medicine in India. After doing research on universities, I decided to study in Tajikistan. More than one and a half thousand international students study in the medical university in Tajikistan. Most of the students are from the Middle East, India and Pakistan. The classes are conducted in Tajik, Russian and English languages. I am glad to see that students from abroad study here as a result of intergovernmental cooperation. The foreign students are provided with accommodation. We have very good and interesting clubs that deals with the international students. We are conducting good work with them. The friendly relations between the countries are strengthening in the last years. I am studying at the Faculty of Foreign Languages. I am learning English. Tajikistan has received over 6,000 international students. The first international festival of folk arts and crafts took place in Kokan, the city of Krasman in Uzbekistan. The event was organized with the support of UNESCO. More than 370 masters from 78 countries took part in the event. The craftsmen presented unique items made of iron, leather, wood, paper and silk. In general, there were about 1,000 masterpieces, including decor items, clothes, paintings, ceramic products, as well as silk and satin fabrics, were showcased. The production of the silk paper began from about 9th to 8th centuries in Bukhara. Our old books were made from this paper, where they wrote calligraphy, murals and miniatures. These books have been preserved for several thousand years. Uzbek culture is one of the most vibrant and unique cultures in the world. Craftsmen pass on their skills from generation to generation. At the International Festival of Folk Arts and Crafts, they shared knowledge with great pleasure with everyone. Masters from Kazakhstan also took part in the event, such as the family of Begdair Kunir. He is involved in the production of jewelry, while his son is in leather production and his wife and daughters in creating beautiful modern clothes. Our whole family is engaged in folk arts and crafts. We make leather goods, silver jewelry and also wool products. We came here to personally meet the international masters, as well as to learn the skills and acquire new knowledge from them and then to create new items ourselves.
Performances of puppeteers, tightrope walkers, ethnographic folk groups, as well as theatre plays, masterclasses and much more were prepared for the participants and visitors of the festival. The World Council of Masters have proposed to hold such events every two years. Archaeologists have discovered a unique discovery in Turkestan. The researchers have found gold jewelries in the Kultobe town. Historians suggested that there was a building built at the location to conduct rituals and customs. The jewelries are thought to be buried as gifts to gods. Archaeologists have been actively working at the area. The excavation works will continue for a minimum of three years. An open-air museum is planned to be opened. A necklace and gold earrings have been found at the cultural layers, which are believed to date back to the 2nd to 3rd century AD. Other earrings with the shape of a question mark belong to the 14th to 15th centuries. The longer we conduct the excavations, the more we discover interesting findings that are related to different periods and cultures. The history of the Great Steppe was introduced in Poland. The Embassy of Kazakhstan and a library in Lublin Voivodeship organized an exhibition that is dedicated to great philosophers of Kazakhstan. Popular works of Kazakh philosophers and writers, as well as national clothes, jewelries and musical instruments were showcased at the event, which was organized as part of the modernization of Kazakhstan's identity program. The Embassy of Kazakhstan donated a number of books to the library in Lublin. The goal of the exhibition is to present historical, cultural and spiritual heritage of our country. The event also introduced the priority areas of political and socio-economic development of our country. The Republican Spiritual Centers of the Travel to the Wall of Abai Clubs will be created in all regions of Kazakhstan. Handbooks and special programs for learning the works of the great poet will be developed in the centers. Visitors of the centers can study the great works of the poet in three languages, namely Kazakh, Russian and English. Public figure, poet and architect Sain Nazarbek is the initiator of the opening of these centers. He created the Abai Kunanbaev Monument in Semei several years ago. The learning clubs to study the works of the great Kazakh philosopher began operating in 46 schools in the Mangistau region as well as in several educational institutions in Atarau, East Kazakhstan and Akmola regions. I am not sure that in a few years there will be no one who does not know Abai and does not read his works. In this case, the club plays great role in preparing the Kazakh people in terms of our spiritual consciousness and our identity. Khabar Agency constantly innovates to improve its activities in order to stay up to date and be in line with the trends of modernity. The agency has announced a large-scale casting contest of TV presenters on its Instagram account. The first stage of the contest starts on September 17th, while the second stage will be held from October 7th to 14th. The third and final stage will be organized from October 14th to 23rd. The main requirements of the contest include age of 18 years old and above and own an Instagram account. The idea of the social project or the casting is to hire more professionals in the media and journalism industry, regardless of which region they come from. The main requirement of the competition is that the participant is a citizen, having a professional attitude and pleasant. Intelligence is the main criteria for us in this contest.